Well, uh, it's a lot of things we have to clean up, a lot of improvements we uh, need to make. We're working on those is what practice is for. So, uh, you know, I had to wear a couple of layers today. It was a little chilly out there today. But, um, but we're excited about this week. Um, you know, big game, another opportunity for us. You have to be able to win on the road. Of course, we like to play every game at home, but uh, you need to be able to win on the road. Um, we know a lot of our, you know, traveling Texans would be with us, and um, hopefully we play better and finish uh, this week. That's what it's about as much as anything. We've had moments where we play good ball. We need to be able to finish. Injury-wise, we, like everybody this time, we're nursing a few. I think you have the injury list, uh, but we'll go from there. There's a commitment first off to it. Um, so, you know, it's declared. And uh, you look at the last game, it showed two excellent running backs, an offensive line that blocks, um, you know, an athletic quarterback that, uh, that can cause problems too that will open up some things with that. But it will be a big challenge for us. We haven't played our best ball versus the run. We haven't tackled as well as we need to. All those things should come into play this week. Well, I mean, it's kind of cut and dried. I mean, uh, Justin won't, as far as the team is concerned, we have a teammate that's not going to be with us for a while. And um, just like there's an injury when a teammate is not going to be with you for a while, it's about the next guy stepping up. Scott Quisenberry stepped up last week. Um, we feel like we have depth there. but um, And we're giving Justin everything that he possibly needs to, uh, to handle his situation. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I get a chance to have my dream job here based on starting there. Um, a lot of great time. We still have a home there, uh, friends. My wife's from Chicago, so uh, all positive, appreciative of everything that happened there uh, during my time there. He's uh, making progress. Um, you know, when you come on board a little bit later, uh, you just start the process as much as anything. You know, sometimes you have to wait a little bit longer for your opportunity based on what's happening with the other guys at the position. But he's progressing. Uh, eventually, we'll uh, get him up on the roster, and he'll be able to play eventually. With Scott Questenberry, how much has he uh, progressed over the last couple of days just knowing his role going forward? He's, uh, coming in, he's a veteran that's, uh, that's been in a role uh, where you have to be ready. So we like we liked what he did the last preseason game. So every time he's had a, a chance to play, we like some of the things he's done. He did some good things this past weekend against the Broncos. So, and then from there, every rep you get of being in that role. I mean, we know that Justin's not going to be with us, you know. So Scott is there. He's the guy. The players have all the confidence in the world in him, like we do, and expecting him to play uh, good football like the rest of our guys this week. Can you elaborate any more on Justin's situation? I asked you uh, after you know, he was, had these personal reasons out. I said, is this a long-term thing? He said, we're just going to deal with this week. So can you elaborate? Please? No, when it's, when it's personal, once you, you say it's personal, there's no elaboration that, you, you, that I'll go in after that. That should say enough. It's, he's out for a reason that's personal to him, and uh, we'll leave it at that. Uh, like I said last week, I said, hey, to me, you know, as coach, it's one game at a time, one day at a time. He's not going to be with us for a period of time. We know he's not with us right now. Levy, you uh, elevated Jimmy Morris into the active roster. Where have you seen him improve from last year to this year, especially when he got starts last season? He got uh, playing time last year. Um, tough player. That's been, when you've been around for a long period of time, you kind of know how we do things, what the role entails. And uh, there's a reason why he's, uh, he's been on our roster. Uh, you know, center just in general. When you have a guy that can snap, tough football player, that that can do a lot of things that Jimmy does, they're valuable for us. And um, as we look back on that 69, 70 man roster, we're going to need everybody. That's what the guys were told. First cut, and uh, a lot of that is coming into play a little bit quicker than than maybe we thought.
We, it's, you know, Brevin's a heck of a football player, you know, and we have a few good football players out, but now it's about the next guy stepping up. We have a little bit of depth at that position. You know, Aikens can step in and do some things. O.J. Howard, when he's gotten reps, of course he can, and we know what Pharaoh can do. So we still feel like we're okay. We're, we're missing, you know, a good football player right now. I think, you know, first our commitment to him, getting him more carries. What we saw this past week, I think, is what we see, well, what we've seen throughout. Guy gets the ball, tough guy to bring down, a lot of sec. You talk about finish. We as a football team need to finish. I'm not, I haven't said that an awful lot to Damon. He finishes play. So, on what we want to be, that toughness, uh, extra effort, all those things you talk about, is exactly what we see from him every time he gets the ball. Oh, yeah. I, I, I think, yeah, you keep practicing. That's what you do. And you've got to keep in mind, you know, it's just like you look at a game. You know, maybe three minutes into the game, you're not where you want to be. But you have time still. And that's how we're looking at it. Sometimes it's just not exactly how you want it to be initially. You keep practicing. Absolutely. To me, the only thing you can do is you can watch video, and you can go to the practice field and start working on those things. And my experience said eventually it happens. And that's what I feel. And that's how I feel about where we are right now. Eventually, it's going to happen. Another good, you know, football player, um, active, good run support player. You know, he's got the skill set. It seems like now the group of young athletes coming through, they're more ready to play initially. You know, quicker than before, and they all have a skill set that allows them to, to just kind of grow. Uh, he's a good football player. We'll have to know where he is and deal with him. How do you, how do you, when you talk to the team about the player who's dealing with personal reasons, how do you approach that? How did you kind of help them well, think about that players? Well, guys, you got to go back to that word. What's that word? What word we talk about? Personal. personal. Once it's personal, that's enough for everybody. Maybe it's not enough for us, but it's enough. When, when somebody's dealing with something personal, you leave it at that. You there for support. You get them anything that they could possibly need to help them go through a situation. And then you stay away a little bit and just be there for them. That's all the team needs is that, to know that when our teammate is going through something. And uh, the teammate knows that the team is behind him, supporting him in any way that you possibly can. Believe me, that's enough for all of us right now. Love you talk about more. Damien, when you look at what they're able to do on defense against the run, what are your thoughts there? As far as Dan, well, yeah, I mean, there's a commitment to the run. I and, mean, you know, we know a little bit about, you know, we say we're at least maybe second cousins as far as how we play defense. Um, there's a commitment to it. And uh, I think every defense, you start off trying to stop the run. Um, I'm looking at us. I'm going to say, hey, what do we need to do first? We need to stop the run. And you make that commitment to it. I'm sure they'll do the same thing. But we understand that, too. We've got to be able to run the football. But it's so much more. When I talk about running the football, there's so much more than just running the football. We got to be successful running the ball, but we got to open our passing game up too. When teams make a hard commitment to stopping the run like that, they're a one on one situation outside. As you talk to our guys outside and our, you know, our quarterback getting the ball to them, we have to do some things like that to help the run also. Well, I, I think Stanley is going to learn from playing. And uh, I think you, you can get misguided a little bit if you just look at who uh, didn't, you know, passes weren't called on one person, which side they're attacking. Derek Stingley is our one corner. So he's going to be in that role for many years. I love him being in that role. He's an outstanding player, and he's going to be a great player as he goes through. And how we'll have Steve is, is, in our, is our second corner. He does some good things. Also, we need both of them. It's kind of as simple as that. Good. Thank you.
got a chance to review the first couple of games with the kid that played today. Did the passing game and the entire offense make you want to go Um, Just keeps training. Um, trying to make plays. I mean, we do it out here in practice. We did it all camp throughout preseason. Just got to execute once we get in the in the games. Um, starts with me. I got to make all the throws, and um, I know that. But just got to keep pushing for what we, we what we've been training for. And I mean, I think we're ready to perform. We just got to do it. Um, looks like a really good player on film. Um, obviously, there's. Maybe been a couple of moments where it's shown that he's a rookie, but I mean, we know. I mean, there's a reason he's in the league. He's a really good player, so um, got to respect everybody on the other side of the ball. Yeah, another solid player. Um, a lot of schemes similar to what we have on on defense, and I mean, he's similar to some of our um, strong corners. Um, they're going to be already ready to fill in the run game, but also. Um, have really good coverage um, opportunities, but I mean, I think we like our guys on our side of the ball, and we're, I mean, ready to play against anybody. Davidson, I know Scott, uh, and you worked a lot during camp and preseason, but what's that adjustment like? Justin's not there, and Scott is your guy. Yeah, I think Scott's uh, stepped up and done a really well, done a really good job. Um, I mean, he communicates really effectively. Um, feels like he's in really good control out there, so we're excited for him. He played well this last game, and he's ready to do, do it again this week. With um, reviewing from Denver, are there times where you're able to learn from the pressure and, and dealing with the um, growing up field where, where you guys are trying to counter something? Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, there's some situations I can help out the offense line a little bit, step up into the pocket. Um, I think our guys on the edge, especially left and right tackle, are um, giving me a really good pocket, so I've got to help them out a little bit and step up and take a little bit of pressure off those guys. And then um, there's opportunities, um, some big-time stuff that we had down the field this past game, but there's also a lot of times where if they cover deep, I'm, I can check the ball down and not have to force it downfield, and big plays will come from that too. Um, so, I mean, there's things we've been working on that we can execute while still taking shots down the field. Davis is having a guy like Davey Pierce consistently with the shooting, just get you in the positive yards, give you at least a little bit more confidence on when you have to step up the throw. Definitely. I mean, when you have a guy who's going to make the first person miss or get out of that first tackle and fall forward, um, get keep getting positive yards, it's, it, I mean, that's what you want on offense. And when you're, I mean, rushing for five yards of play or close to it, um, that's what you want, and it'll put us in third manageable situations or short, second and short. So if we feel like we can be in those situations, we feel like we can convert those plays and uh, keep the ball moving. Hey, what do you feel like the identity of the soft Ground and pound football team who's going to uh, make the defense have to play the run, but then when they do, let's take some shots and move the football down the field. Davis, the first couple of games, you found yourself in a situation late in the game where you've had an opportunity to go tie win a game. In those pressure-type situations, when you go back and assess your play, where do you feel like you're at and you're feeling in those moments? Um, I mean, I'm comfortable in those situations. Just got to execute my job. Um, looking back on it, there's opportunities down the field. Um, got to execute with those. Missed a couple throws this last game, but then if they cover up, like I said before, we got to be able to get our check downs the ball and let them make plays and um, move the ball that way. So um, just seeing that on film and reflecting on it, I mean, I think we're in a really good spot right now. And I mean, those fourth quarter moments late in the game when we got to go down and do something, those what makes the make or break uh, between a good team and a bad team. So um, I think our team's, I mean, really optimistic about where we're at and we're ready to go uh, prove it this weekend. When you just mentioned how uh, respect the run, give you a chance to take a shot. Are those um, not necessarily obviously when um, you call one of those shot plays or thinks that where you think you're going to get a big chunk from it you obviously want to make the play but um, what Pep keeps stressing all the time is we got to make smart decisions on those plays if they cover open deep or cover up deep let's check it down and move on to the next play because there's going to be more opportunities to get those plays called throughout the game Yeah, I mean, a lot of it is um, 
just the whole travel schedule, getting out of there, doing meetings at the hotel in another city, prepping that way. But um, the biggest thing is just being able to manage your new, envi- new environment, um, something that's new to you. I know, I mean, a lot of the quarterbacks who are older in their careers have played a lot of these away stadiums multiple times. A lot of them are the first times I'm seeing uh, new stadiums, so being able to handle the new environment, manage crowd noise, um, and effectively communicate at the line, those are big things. But, I mean, when it boils down to it, football is still football, so we just got to go out there and do our job. Uh, he, he's been looking really good in practice. Um, you can tell he's played high-level football before. Obviously, uh, performed really well when he was with Tampa last. Um, so we're excited. Once he gets a little more of the offense down, we're excited to see what he can do. Bruce, uh, what, what from training camp, you know, organizing this offense to now, is what are some things that maybe you didn't uh, think might become an issue that you have seen in the past couple of games you're working through? Um, I wouldn't think there's any glaring issues. Uh, we just got to fall back on our training, fall back on kind of our uh, base install stuff so that we have a lot of reps at and continue to work through those and um, trust that our guys are going to win their matchups and um, go out there and uh, dominate each rep. All right. Thanks, guys. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I think we come out with some great things, but um, the name of the game, just in our team in general, especially us on offense, is just finishing. You know, being able to, uh, you know, finish in the red zone, uh, finish the game with touchdowns versus, you know, field goals. And that's what it's, it's going to be all about. And that's what, you know, getting back to practice and, and going to work and pressing that. And pressing that. Even though y'all have- 
Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I, like I said, I think early on, you know, we, we do a great job of moving the ball and, and uh, you know, having those details correctly. So I'm definitely encouraging that aspect. But um, it's time to kind of take that next step to be able to, you know, you know turn these L's into to W's, really. Yeah. Yeah, you know, obviously we with Justin, you know, as one of our guys, um, as he takes his personal time, you know what I mean? But uh, at the end of the day, we feel like, you know, we just got to move on as a team and continue to push forward. And Scott did a great job. You know, we got confidence in our guys that was behind him. Um, and it's kind of the next man up mentality while at the same time supporting Justin. Yeah, you know, at the end of the day, it's just his leadership capabilities. And like I said, uh, you know, being able to grow from one year to another and that expectation to keep on going throughout the season is expected of him, but expected of all of us to be able to be on the same page and make those plays, uh, you know, when, when he needs us to. So it's a collective effort. Yeah, you know, obviously I uh, haven't played him before, but, you know, watching film, he's definitely a solid guy, up-and-coming guy. You know, he's doing his thing on the back end and, um, you know, look forward to just studying him and going out there and play. Brandon, you've been working alongside with Davis, but also you've been working along with Damian Pierce. So when you have a yeah. running back that can get positive yeah. nearly every single play, yeah. how does that open up the playbook, especially on a short yard situation? Boy, it's, it's huge. His mentality, you know, DP is like, you know, he's always finishing. You, so you talk about a guy that's finishing every single run. Um, and, you know, we feel that as a receiver group as well because we got to stay intact. But anytime you can do that in the run game, it's going to help your offense. You know what I mean? And, and that's just the nature of the beast. All set. Um, Go ahead. It's interesting that um, you said uh, Damien is like, has, is a finisher. Um, you finishes, and that's the same thing that Lovey said. Yeah. So, yeah. No, yeah, you're right, but it's a mentality. It seemed like from the moment that he stepped into this building, that's what he's all about. You know, even in practice, finishing runs, uh, even you know when he's not touched, and even when it's uh, you know hard out there, he's just, it's a mindset. And the fact that it seemed like he's always having that. You turn on his college film, he was doing it then, so uh, it's built in him for sure. Oh, yeah, no, I like T. You know, he got that, that dog mentality into him as well. You know, a guy that can go in there and block but also can catch uh, those tough uh, contested balls, um, you know, and just look forward to, you know, adding to the group whenever that may be. Last two right here, guys. Brandon, on Sunday, you reached another milestone. Eight thousand yards. Yeah. Um, what's that mean for you and your team? I mean, it's a blessing, um, but, you know, far from done and, you know, just trying to get better, and uh, um, you know that's my mindset. We'll celebrate those things when the cleats are hung up. But it's a long time from that. Brandon, you played in Pac-12, and you've been able to see what type of talent Washington turns yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did they Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. You know, you date back to just even my time. You know, I think about Marcus Peters and some of those guys that I played against. Uh, they definitely produce, uh, but it's always go beefs. <laughs> last one, uh, last one, guys, you're just a few plays away from being two and zero. Yep. Uh, and you got a lot of young guys on this team that <clears throat> they may get down a, a one and one. Or what, what? What is your message to your teammates uh, that look, guys, we're, we're not that far away? Or what, what do you say? Yeah, I mean, the biggest message like today I had, um, you know, it comes down to your best players, you know, playing great and playing the best. Um, and, I, and I'll talk about myself when I say that. Um, and every man got to look in the mirror and ask himself that. But I, that's my message because in the name of the game is, you know, in those tight scores or whatever the case may be, who's going to take you over the edge is typically going to be your best guys. Um, and we quite frankly haven't done that yet. And I and I take some of that. And um, you know, and I got that mentality to get back to work and keep pushing and to be able to turn you know those tight scores in, into wins. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Have a good one.